工具呢 ？Facial recognition. They can read people's emotions, and、uh, we are actually now working on these innovative demonstrations and technology. But the Chinese government has plans to use this new biometric technology to cement its authoritarian rule. The country has ambitious plans to develop a vast national surveillance system based on facial recognition. It'll be used to monitor its 1.4 billion citizens in unprecedented ways, with the capability of tracking everything from their emotions to their sexuality. The primary means will be a vast network of CCTV cameras. 170 million are already in place, and an estimated 400 million new ones will be installed over the next three years. The authorities insist this program will allow them to improve security for citizens. And if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. But not everyone is convinced. This surveillance camera is already in the air, so it's basically no longer hidden. Hong Kui is a former magazine editor who was ousted by the government. He feels like he's under constant surveillance. 我最担心的是啊，我个人的所有的这个呃行动行为，我都会被被监控到，这是非常可怕的一个事情。Already, the authorities are using facial recognition to name and shame citizens, even for minor offences like jaywalking. In Beijing. They're using the technology to prevent people stealing rolls of loo paper from public toilets. And across China, police officers are now trialing sunglasses and body cameras loaded with facial and gesture recognition technology. It's helping them to identify wanted suspects in real time. What worries some people here is that as the technology develops, so too does the capacity for it to be abused. 那么，所有的人在这个啊，在这个生活当中，都处在严密的监控之下啊。你不能啊，做任何政府不喜欢的事情啊。如果是这样子的话，我个人认为就就相当于进入一个极权主义的一个状态，这是一个很恐怖的状态。Some of those most at risk in this hyper-surveillance future are the ethnic minorities in China. An estimated one million Uyghurs are being detained indefinitely in secretive internment camps, where some are being subject to abuse. The authorities are using facial recognition cameras to scan people's faces before they enter markets. The system alerts authorities if targeted individuals stray 300 meters beyond their home. In the future, the government plans to aggregate even more data and build a predictive policing program. That imposes even tighter controls here. Without checks and balances, China will keep finding new ways to violate the human rights of its citizens. What's already happening in Xinjiang is a warning the rest of the world must heed.